here's here's more from New York though. There's a lot more from New York. This is and this I mean these are these are long. It's from New York Freedom Rally on Instagram. It's a wonderful account. Here's a little bit from New York Freedom Rally. Hold on a second. Here we go. Wait. Assemblyman Jamel Holly and Kevin Jenkins. New York City! I need to I need to make sure we repeat that again because I'm a black Democrat and I stand for medical choice and medical freedom. So you do have Democrats in your corner. My big brother Kevin Jenkins, come on up here, Kevin. Say a few words for these guys, Kevin. Everybody raise your hand in this audience. Everybody back there, everybody raise your hands. Now I want to ask you a question. Do you want to be a slave or do you want to be free? Free! Let's get free! Now, early in August was the anniversary for Martin Luther King speaking in Washington at the monument. And he was talking about how we all come together as Americans to save America, to bridge the gap between white and black. But guess what? That tyranny is back at our doors again. Do you understand? This is about choice. This is about freedom, but this is about your life. They're coming for your children. They already killed your grandparents. And you know what? You've been too damn quiet. To let everybody that in this state and in this country know that we're going to stand for what? Freedom! Do you want to be a slave? So, what the hell has been wrong with you? What the hell has been wrong with you? Now, I'm here as a black man, and I'm telling you, I am never going to be slave again. Stand up for my rights, your rights, and at my organization, Urban Global Health Alliance, we're not playing around. Now, how many of you have children in this audience? How many of you have grandchildren? How many back there? You're too polite. How many have grandchildren back there? Now, let me tell you something. My grandmother, Lily May. Oh, Lily May. Lily May Jenkins, my grandmother. A descendant of slaves. I'm a descendant of slaves. She fought for me to stand up here and talk to you as a free man. Now, if you don't fight for your children, what good are you? Are you ready to fight for your children? Are you ready to fight for your family? Are you ready to fight for the very essence of who you are as human beings? Now, goddamn it, act like it. I go to these rallies all the time. I've been to 57 cities, 39 states. The rest of this country is ready to work for us, and they've been waiting for this. They've been waiting for New York to come alive. Yes. Are you alive? Yes. Are you alive back there? Yes, yes indeed. And they're all. I mean, this goes on for seven minutes. It's called New York Freedom Rally on Instagram. Wonderful, wonderful clips. There's another one. Here's another one. Hold on. Uh, just the first. Let's just play the first minute. This one's 14 minutes. Hold on a second. Hard to shut information down. Right. Because you cannot defend against the truth. The truth will always come out and will always rise to the top. And you can silence. The only way to deal with the truth is to silence it. Right. To close people's mouths. Take their speech away. They don't address it. I said to someone today, you can talking about my, oh, my conspiratorial thoughts and all this situation and my sources are not credible. I said, I've given you credible sources over and over, but you've yet to give me any of your credible sources. Where are your credible sources? I said, you can't because your credible source, your quote-unquote credible sources is mainstream media. It's the news. It's the news. But that those sources are not credible. But I'll tell you why. Why also they're shutting us down? Because there's a fear of this happening. Because we right here, so for those of you who don't know me, I'm a civil rights and constitutional law attorney. And so, when you arm people, citizens, with knowledge 
of the truth with help. information and the of the laws and when they get understanding and they wake up the jigs up it's over yep yes yes now listen um it's it's the like it's it's the last battle of independence day in the movie independence day you have the stragglers from all over the place you have people true you know those blue dog democrat types people who are center left that that still understand and embrace civil liberties that just they just have a little bit more of a uh i don't know progressive way of uh, approaching government especially if it's state and local government then whatever you can do whatever the hell you want in your state as long as it's in accordance with your state constitution we have problems at a federal level but there's no fixing those problems so I just say go ahead and implode and I hope the whole damn thing comes down but as far as this goes I don't care I don't care are you a, you are a Democrat you are Republican you white you're black Whatever the hell it is, it's too late in the game to say, oh, oh okay, well, I, I was thinking about linking arms with you. I was thinking about giving you the time of day, but then I heard that you were so-and-so or something and something or came from the wrong side of the political tracks. Fuck that noise. Fuck that noise. There's, there is not going to be any arena left to even play this game. This whole game that we play there's no room it's over the arena is going away and there may be some people out there who just think hey one way or another Frank it's too late one way or another and I know plenty of very smart people who do think that and I can understand where they're coming from but once again it's the warriors folly what are you going to do are you just going to sit there and wait for the tidal wave are you going to make no preparations? Are you not going to try to make some kind of order out of the chaos around you? Are you not going to live every day and work at something, even though you know that it's almost like beating back the tide at times? Anyone who is there that offers up their energy to beat down somebody else's enthusiasm, their hope, and their drive to go out and do some kind of work that even just improves your personal lot and your family's lot, your community, your, your streets, your, the, your, the dead end street that you live on. Anybody who takes away and chips away that, at that enthusiasm to say it's no, no good, get them the fuck out of your life and block them on whatever kind of uh, social media you have them. They are the, 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 the worst of losers. The worst of losers. We just may be heading toward oblivion as every great civilization has. And then from the ashes rises a new one. We may just have been born in time to see the final extinction of one civilization and the fight to build a new one beginning. That may just be our, our, our ticket in the lottery. Who the hell knows? There's no time for feeling down on ourselves, though. There's work to be done. Period. And I love seeing people with high energy. I love it. 